Hey guys, welcome back to LCW Productions. My name is Brayden. I've got a really cool personal video that I really want to do here for you guys today. And that video is going to be over this extremely precious item to me. See what I did there? Which is my sealed Shelob attack set. But what is so special about this, you may ask? I have gotten this now completely signed by Andy Circus, who plays Gollum. Elijah Wood, who plays Frodo, and Sean Austin, who plays Samwise Gamgee. So in this video, I'm going to go over the stories of getting um, Andy Serkis's autograph and Elijah Wood and Sean Austin's that I got very recently. And, uh, you know, basically my interactions with them, the stories behind where I got them. And uh, we'll show off the autographs just a little bit. And then uh, that's just about it. I really just want to do this video to show this off. So let's just go ahead and get right on into that. All right, we're going to go back to October 21st last year in 2023. I went to a convention in Irving, Texas, where I met and got Mr. Andy Circus's autograph, which was the first one that I got on this set. So I'm going to read, I have a Instagram post where I talked in detail about what happened. When we go over Elijah Wood and Sean Austin's, it'll just be off the top of my head. But let's just get into this. So with Andy Circus's, um, I go into detail about how I wanted to get my Sheila Batak set signed by him. And here's a recount of the experience. We got in a relatively nice medium sized line. And waited and met and talked to some very nice people while waiting. I was with my brother, Brendan. Once we finally got up to the front of the line, I had a big grin on my face. And for background context, obviously, Andy Serkis plays many famous characters, but he also narrates The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings books, which is on Audible, if you like to check that out. And which I have indulged to listen to an unhealthy amount of times. <laughs> Um, I, I won't tell you guys how many times, but it's too many. Uh, so when we walked up, he greeted us and shook our hands. Just a super caring and energetic guy like you would expect him to be. I told him basically thank you for all that he has done in bringing Tolkien's world to real life and how much I love his audiobooks. My brother asked him what his favorite character is that he plays, and he said that the really easy answer is Gollum, but he said that he really enjoyed playing Caesar from Planet of the Apes. And after I had remarked that what he did with Gollum and Lord of the Rings was revolutionary with motion capture, he said how much fun it was to do with Caesar when he had the polished technology. He finished the conversation with me asking him, uh, which was a very nerd out question, as the second unit director for The Hobbit, what was his favorite scene that he shot? He said that there were so many that he loved, but he said that his favorite that he did was the blunt the knives scene and bend the forks with the dwarves at the beginning of the unexpected journey. And that being one of the better scenes adapted from the book, in my opinion, I was very thrilled to hear that he, one, directed that, and that that was his favorite scene. He then signed my Lego set, and he wished us well, and then we moved along. My brother and I walked away mind-blown that we actually just had a few-minute conversation with the dude and definitely left a mark that will not easily be forgotten. So, I I'm, I'm just... I, I'm a big Andy Serkis fan just in general. For you guys that don't know, he did Snoke, he did Caesar, he did, he's done Gollum, um, he played Alfred and the Batman. I mean, I'm a general big Andy Serkis fan just on that basis alone. But obviously, he, he revolutionized motion capture and his performance for Gollum. I think getting his autograph on this set means so much to me. And the experience of meeting him was just so overwhelmingly positive. I've met a decent amount of celebrities in lines now, especially after the last convention that I just went to. And like a, a lot of them just, they're kind of pass along the line. They'll say a few things to kind of patronize you. And then it, it just keeps on moving. Andy Circus was just not like that at all. He was one of the few people that I've gotten in lines, you know, and he actually wanted to talk, right? It, it wasn't like reluctantly answering the questions, keep on moving. Like, I think that's why I had such an overwhelmingly positive experience because it felt like a genuine connection, a genuine like, hey, he want to talk with you. And I think that's why I say it was such a special experience for my brother and I. And obviously I have something to 
remind myself of that with his autograph on this set. Let's go ahead and get into Elijah Wood's autograph. Okay, so about a few weeks ago, my friend and I, Andrew, went to Big TexCon in San Antonio, Texas, and Elijah Wood and Sean Austin were there. Unfortunately, John Reese davies who plays Gimli, was supposed to be there, but canceled due to being stuck in the hurricane, unfortunately. But I'm going to start with Elijah Woods because I got his autograph first, and I will say because my friend Andrew got us some VIP Express tickets that I literally walked right up to his line. There was no standing in line for this one talking to the other people. It was more of a get straight up to the line and kind of get the side eye from some people because they had been standing there for hours. And um, yeah, I got his autograph in literally three minutes. But one, that's a good advertisement for VIP tickets for the convention. But the other part is that I got to meet Elijah Wood and he was really cool. But overall, he's a very nice guy. Um, and, you know, I shook his hand. Um, he was willing to take a picture of the set, which I'll put on the screen right now, which was just a great picture. And I think meeting him, it was a very quick pass along. And I will say my biggest thing for getting Elijah Wood and Sean Austin's was how fast it was. Like they weren't really particularly interested in getting into a conversation at all. It was a, hey, how are you? Sign it and move on, which I get. I, it's There's so many people in line. But I think that's why I, I would probably say I enjoyed getting Andy Circuses more because of that conversation, because of the connection that was established. And I think with this, the connection that I got with Elijah Wood and Sean Austin came after, which I'll uh, throw a nice little extra piece in the end for you guys. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was very quick. I got his autograph. There's not too much to say about it. He did put um, Elijah Wood, Frodo. Um, I tried to get them all to do in gold, but it looks like uh, Sean Austin was the only one that had the same uh, color as Andy Serkis. Elijah Wood kind of had more of the gold, kind of like more like the ring gold. Um, but, yeah, I mean, getting the autograph was just amazing, and it was awesome. I also got a picture with him in a photo op, which I'll put on the screen right now. But let's go ahead and address the Sean Austin, the last autograph on this set. Now, next up, we have Sean Austin, who is obviously our beloved Sam. And um, I, I would say I definitely liked him more than Elijah would. But I, I love all three of them. I'm just kind of putting them in a ranking um, a little bit here. But, I mean, Sean Austin, I, I will say, while my friend Andrew was going and getting autographs for all of the Cobra Kai people that he was getting autographs for, I stood very close, like, 10 feet away from him um like just next to the line just kind of watching him interact with fans talk with them and he is probably one of the single most authentic and nicest people i've ever like people watched in my entire life he listened to these absolutely heartfelt stories um th this one guy was talking about how lord of the rings saved him and how Sam was an inspiration for him and how his character and what his character stands for is what helped him out of depression and stuff. And I mean, it, like Sean Austin just had so, so much empathy for this person. He gave him a big hug he, and he sounded like he actually cared. He wasn't, you know, waving him off as being dramatic or anything. And that was the case for like two other people. I mean, there, I think, and it really showed me like, because I love Lord of the Rings, but like hearing stories like that is so heartfelt. It's very touching. And, you know, the way that they handle hearing that is, is very like, it's, it's very nice because I, I think there's so many celebrities that hear that and they go, Oh you yeah, know, whatever. It's just a character, but you know, like he genuinely cares. And I, I can say that from, you know, standing back and, and listening to him and it not feeling like a fake conversation and he's just genuinely one of the better people i've people watched like i said so uh like that uh like with that being said sean austin's uh pretty popular he was in stranger things as bob he was in goonies and obviously he is sam from lord of the rings and so he had quite a crowd um in line for him but yeah so 
I stood in line for a little bit longer. There was a few VIPs in front of me, but in general, I got up there and got it signed pretty quickly. Um, I, I went up, and then, like I said, it was a lot like the same thing. It was kind of rushed. Um, I, I said at this point, I'd already been to the panel, and I had asked him a question, which is what I'm going to show you guys afterwards. I was really excited to get the opportunity to do that. And so, yeah, I mean, I asked him the same thing if he was comfortable with holding the set, and he did, which I'll show on the screen right now. Uh, again, just super nice guy, very heartwarming, but um, I could tell when versus the time when I was standing back and listening to him, he wasn't as rushed as when I went to get mine. So I wish that I had gone in line and maybe a little bit earlier in the day to kind of get that experience. Um, but yeah, when I went, it was the middle of the day. It was like rush, 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 get his autograph before he leaves. And yeah, it was, it was very rushed experience, but overall, I mean, just a very nice guy, like I said, and, um, I also got his photo op as well with my friend. So I'll put that up on the screen. But I think with that being said, those are kind of just the individual experiences I had with those three, um, people that signed this and, yeah, I mean, this is definitely, out of my entire collection, I think this is my favorite piece now. Um, this is something that, like, is, is probably quite literally priceless to me, just based on the experiences alone that I've gotten. Um, like, this just is a representation of those experiences, and it, I think this is an embodiment of the love and dedication I have into putting into my LEGO Lord of the Rings collection. And, um, yeah, so... I'm super happy. I'm super thrilled that I was able to get this triple signed by everyone in the set. And um, I, I'm just so happy to have it in my collection. So that is about it for the set. So if you want to leave the video, that's just fine. But um, I want to give you guys a little extra piece here, which is I went to the Elijah Wood and Sean Austin panel. And because I had a VIP um, lanyard, my friend and I, we were able to sit like literally like right up front. So when they called you to go get questions to ask them, um, I was like literally first in line. So I was able to ask him a question, which I will show the video, um, right now. So go ahead. It's about two minutes long. Take a look. Hi, I'm Braden. Um, uh, one of your biggest fans. Um, I, I will self-proclaim that. Um, at the end of Two Towers, I think I can speak for everyone when there is a very heartfelt scene that I think it brings us all to tears every single time. And you give a heartfelt monologue about the things that the world is worth fighting for in the world. What are some things in our modern world that root you down to find something worth fighting for? <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm teed up and ready for this one. <laughs> well, it starts with our, my family, you know, my wife and our daughters. Um, I care so much. I care about people. And all of the insanity that goes along with the political season that we're in and this moment in history that we're in, I just find myself wanting to think about human beings human beings everywhere, human beings on one side of the border, on the other side of the border, human beings who have a lot of money and human beings who don't have a lot of money. I am the kind of person where if somebody's got a flat tire on the side of the road, I want to help them. So just the fact that as a species, we live, we breathe, we love, we have children, we grow old, we die, this cycle continues and we have to, if we want to make the jump to Mars or whatever other like planets or galaxies we're gonna go to and if we survive hundreds of years from now, we, in this moment, we have to care about each other. So that's what, to me, what's worth fighting for is reminding that we, even when social media and TikTok is going by and there's so many things, we have to care about each other. If we said that to ourselves before we opened our mouth in any political conversation, yeah, yeah. we would find ourselves looking at policy discussions in a totally new way. So I love my fellow human beings. Thank you for the question. All right, guys. So obviously, Sean Austin gave an extremely heartfelt and universally positive 
message. Um, I, I'm not going to get political at all, um, but I, I do think that his message was, was very beautiful, and I think that it was a good, well-rounded response to the question. Um, I came up with the question because that scene from The Two Towers, I mean, it really is a scene that gets me rather emotional, and I think anyone that watches the movie gets emotional in that because there is so much um, just bad in the world sometimes, and I feel like it's very easy to get overwhelmed with that bad stuff that happens in the world. So I feel like that that particular monologue from the end of the Two Towers is in itself a universal message for finding something worth fighting for in your life and i think to end this video off i want to ask everyone to you don't have to put in the comments if you want to i'd be happy to talk with you guys a little bit but ask yourself this what is something that you find yourself fighting for that keeps you getting up in the morning keeps you fighting for the good and what keeps you going as hard as you are and with that being said that brings us to the end of this video thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble about my love for lord of the rings and my experiences on getting these three autographs if you guys enjoyed the video like the video make sure that you comment down below maybe you want to answer my question go ahead and do so uh, maybe you've gotten their autographs as well let me know how your experiences were with them uh, make sure to subscribe for future videos and turn on those notifications to get notified about my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great and wonderful day.